Hello, my name is Alana Fitzgerald and I'm going to introduce you to the Flax Language Project based at the University of Waikato in New Zealand. So there are quite a few videos um, talking about the different features within Flax. You can either follow them through one by one or you can dip in and out of the menu as you please. We hope you enjoy these training videos and that you come to our Flax website and try out some of the things that we have on offer for free. All right, when you're looking for the Flax project, it's important to type in Flax language. And this is how you come into the Flax homepage area, which is under the library tab, because Flax is a digital library language learning software project. Okay, so um, this is the Flax homepage. You'll notice that we have different types of collections. So Flax distributed collections are for um, those people who want to build their own collections um, using our software. Here are the places where you can download the software. So basically, the distributed collections are the collections that come with the software to show you the types of collections that can be built. So we've got collections here for adults, and the best of password, um, so we've grouped these according to level. Um, Flex is a, a New Zealand project, so we've got a a few documents here about life in New Zealand. So here's one on kiwi food. Okay, the classic kiwi sandwich, cake, and so on. All right, so, um, and this one has audio, so it's just showing you the features. Kiwi food. Kiwis, New Zealand people, eat many different kinds of food. Um, but if we just go back to the library area, um, we've also got collections that you can build for young learners and um, because Flax is multilingual um, we've incorporated Chinese and English here so um, what you can do with collections building in Flax is you can stream in video from the web so we're streaming in a video here from the British Council One little, two little, three little Okay, so this shows you the song in English and the translation in Chinese. And if we go back to that collection, you can see we have incorporated games. So matching images. Um, so here we've got an accounting game. And we've put the user interface into Chinese because um, for this collection, uh, we were showing that you can build the collections within your own language. Um, especially for young learners who are just coming to grips with English. So th this gives you an idea of um, some of the types of collections that you can build in Flax. Here we've got much more powerful collections, the resource collections. I'm going to take you through videos for these collections. And below here, um, the, in the law collections area, um, a whole bunch of ESP, English for Specific Purposes, collections in the area of law. And this is really to demonstrate to you how you can build your own um, specific language collections using open resources. And over here we have um, a well-known research corpus, the British Academic Written English Collections. I'll, I'll explain more about those soon. And down here, collections created by registered users. So these are people like yourselves who want to build their own collections and they prefer to build them here on our website. And then we've got a few things going on over here in our research and development area. Okay, so that's basically the main page of Flax, and I'll take you through the different collections one by one now.